Ja, die Qualität mir hatte weg für die. Working with brands and creating product animations is something that I've always wanted to try. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down how I made this animation for the Crown and Progress kit from Most Incredible Studio and Paper Planes. I'll also be diving into the music production aspect of the project, where I'll show you how I made the beat using Ableton Live and some samples from Splice. The idea I came up with was to combine 3D renders of the Lego pieces with photography and stock video to play off the Paper Planes tagline, Greatness is a Process. So let's get started. The model of the hat was provided to me in BrickLink Studio. This was a bit of a challenge because I had to figure out how to export the model in a format that I could use in Blender. And BrickLink is limited in the formats in which models could be exported. So after some experimentation, I was able to export the model as a DAE file, and then I used a website to convert it to an OBJ file. Once I had the model in Blender, I started to play with it to see how everything was set up. Each piece of the model was already separated from each other, which is what I wanted because the idea of the animation was to have all of the pieces slowly coming together to form the final model. Since the materials didn't transfer from BrickLink to Blender, the next step was to take the pieces with the logo on them and bring them over to Substance Painter. I had the PNG files for the logos, but it was a little bit tricky because the logo was split across two Lego pieces on the model and they weren't exactly aligned, so I had to do a little bit of experimenting to get the alignment right. After I had my texture on the model, I set up a basic scene in Blender, setting up my background and camera, and then I started to experiment with expanding the model to get an idea of how it would look when it scaled back into its final position. To expand all the pieces to have them come back together, you need to make sure that each piece is separated. As mentioned before, the model already had each piece separated from BrickLink, but if you're using a different model, you need to make sure that you separate each piece by individual parts. And once those are separated, within object mode, I set the origin to geometry, and then I changed the transform to affect locations only. And once I did that, I was able to scale in and out all of my pieces. Once I had my model set up for animation, I added some more cameras and lights, and then I did some test renders to make sure everything looked how I wanted it to look. I knew that I wanted to break this video into two different parts, so the first half would be all of the pieces slowly coming together, and then there would be the reveal of the entire model showing the silhouette of the hat and some different shots of the model rotating and showing some of its details. For the animation, I set up two keyframes for all of the pieces of the model, starting at the start of my timeline and at the end. So at the start, all of the pieces were scaled out, and at the end, around 350 frames, they all came back together. For my camera settings, I used a long focal length of 105 millimeters with a shallow depth of field. I also tracked my camera to different pieces or empties in the scene to follow objects as they move through space. For the second half of the video, where I showcased the entire model, I parented all the pieces to an empty, and then I animated the empty to rotate the model, showing it from different angles. I then rendered out each camera shot in 4K. This gave me about three minutes of footage, and I took that into After Effects where I composited the final video. Now we're going to get into the music aspect of the project. So my thinking behind this was early 2000s hip-hop, Just Blaze, Rockefeller type beat. The first thing I did was hop on Splice and just started listening to samples until I found something that caught my ear that invoked that feeling that I was going for. So this is the sample that I came across. I liked the sample, but I wanted it to sound a little heavier, so I pitched it down a bit. The next thing I did was I chopped it up using my MPC preset, and these are what the chop sounded like. Mm -hmm. 
for the first two bars it's pretty much the same as the original sample and then on the second half is when I started to chop it up and kind of create something new out of it and this is what it sounds like <laughs> Then at the end of four and eight bars, I used different chops from different sections of the sample just to add some variation. And those sound like this. So when you put those two sections together, the entire segment sounds like this. next part with the drums so I was looking for a specific sound I found this loop which sounds like this I chopped up the drum loop and then I sequenced my own drum pattern in a MIDI clip that sounds like this This is what it sounds like when you add the sample chops with the drum pattern. I wanted to beef up the snare a bit, so I layered it with another snare. And with the original drum loop, it sounds like this. To keep with that kind of early to mid 2000s hip hop feel, I wanted to add some drum rolls. So I found this feel that sounds like this. I then used different pieces of that throughout the drum pattern for fills and turnarounds. Then all of that combined with the sample sounds like this. The next thing I added were some crash cymbals. I used three different samples, pan left and right. And those crashes added in with the drum pattern sounds like this. Next were some percussion elements, so I added a bell tree. And then I also added this percussion loop. With those percussion elements added in, you get this. Then when you add all of those elements together, this is what the beat sounds like. For the final shot where it showed the logos at the end of the video, I used a sample, I filtered it out, and then I used it at its original pitch. I then went back and looked for some sounds for the first half of the video. So I knew I wanted something kind of basic that was moody and kind of invoked some emotion. So I found these piano chords, which seemed to work perfect, and they sound like this.
I then wanted to add some texture to the intro and I found this field recording of some kids playing on the playground in like a city and I felt like that tied in with the whole theme of what I was going for with the video. Then to add another layer on top of that, I use a field recording of a city street. And when you add it all together, it sounds like this. Once I had the music done and all my shots rendered out, I then went over to After Effects to put it all together. Sometimes I like to use After Effects over Premiere Pro because it has a few visual effects that aren't available in Premiere Pro, such as Selective Color, which I like to use for color grading. So it's just a matter of going through, making cuts to the beat, and then adding in the stock footage and photography over the top of the 3D renders. Once everything was laid out, I added an adjustment layer over the top of all of the footage where I added some light noise, curves, and then selective color for some color grading. And that was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and picked up something along the way. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And here's the final video. Until next time, peace.